Today we are going to install this Lenco integrated trim tab switch kit into this Mastercraft X35. The trim tabs have not been working since my buddy Matt bought the boat. And uh, I know that the actuators work. We've already tested them direct to the battery connection. And uh, so it's the switches and we're gonna put this new switch kit in and uh, see how easy it is. So this panel just pops off from underneath here with just some uh, basic screws holding it up. And then we've got the control panel. This hat is called the Smart Wave controller. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these out and uh, install them to the new switch kit and get rid of all this and then get rid of these little controls here and replace those controls with this here. We'll have to make a few modifications, but we'll make it work. So what we did for right now, we just uh, used wire nuts, spliced everything, got it all connected, and uh, we are working properly. This is, um, everything's going down, port side going down, the left, starboard side going down on the right. So we found out with this kit, I think that this is designed to be installed in the back of the boat because we switched the wires, the, the red and the greens, to do the proper side for this installed right here next to the wheel, next to the helm. So now it makes sense. So we'll uh, officially install it and call so it. This is how the aftermarket kit was cut out. So we're going to have to uh, maybe put a new plate in there. We'll see the size. I need a 2 and 16 inch hole. So this is wider than that. So we'll probably uh, fabricate some type of a new plate behind here to uh, hold the new control switch. But we've taken out all the wires and the control box and everything. And now we're gonna put all this up in there and we'll shrink wrap it and make it look good. So because the new controls don't sit all the way down inside of this insert, I cut out a piece that matches this of some plexiglass. So I cut out the plexiglass um, to match this curvature here. And then what I'll do is I'll glue it onto the front and drill a new hole for that. And then with this on here, it'll all fit. I'll paint it black, don't worry. I know it's ugly now, but I'll paint it black and then put a new hole here and it'll hold everything nice and tight without having to make any crazy modifications, just added a layer to bring this flush across here so that the controls sit nicely on there. So with that quarter inch plexiglass inside there, see it sits nice and flush. Once it's painted black, I think it's gonna look slick and uh, just fine for this application. What I did to cut out that plexiglass is I traced the inside of this shape and then I glued two pieces together and I cut out the basic shape on the miter saw right there. And then I just came over to my electric sander and put the edges on there until I sanded it down to the shape that I had traced and worked out fine. Probably only took about 15 minutes. So we got everything all fabricated up here. Everything looks good. Uh, this hole here is not quite deep enough for the controls in the back here. It's actually deep enough, but the hole that was in here is not set up in the right position for the wiring harness. So we're gonna just uh, use the oscillating tool, cut another little bit hole, a little bit bigger to the left of that one. And then this uh, should drop right in there. And then we'll connect everything back up and uh, use some wire ties and some zip ties and just get everything up in there nice and tight. So we got it all into position, looks good. Just know that if you have the one that has the orange wire, the orange wire connects to something that only turns on when the ignition is on. But uh, we're gonna bypass that and go directly connect it to the white or to the red, sorry, on the battery. And so it's always gonna have power, but we actually turn the battery switch off when we're done uh, with the boat. So not a big deal in this situation, but you're gonna have to find something else to connect it to up in here that only turns on when the ignition is on because otherwise this is going to eat up a little bit of battery it's not much but there's just a little bit of led power in here all right so we got everything uh connected 
and we are working so we're going to go ahead and lower the left side you can hear it functioning all the way to its max and we're going to go back up and then go to the right side all the way down so like I said, I switched the, the wires on this for the port side and starboard because this is these are designed to install in the back of the boat, but we're looking forward at it. So we reversed or changed the wires. So we'll go ahead and uh, zip tie these up and uh, get up inside the little compartment there and close it all up. Like I said, if you don't connect this uh, orange wire to an ignition source, then it's gonna always be on just like this.